Okay guys, this is Wolfire Studios here with a tutorial on how to improvise on your CC3 character that you want to use on the Unreal Engine skeleton. So first of all, let's just quickly get our Unreal Engine mannequin. If it is here somewhere, you can export it from Unreal if you know how to do it and somehow if you don't, you can just download it from anywhere on the internet. You will have this skeleton with the rigs. So for this tutorial, you may possibly require the UEFI add-on. It is very, it is not the only way to do it. I mean, of course you can manually do it, but UEFI makes it a breeze to solve this problem that I was having. And also I'll recommend having your CC3 Blender tools plugin installed. I'll try to link both of them in the description. You can download it. The UEFI plugin will be used to extract this mesh, your character's mesh, I mean and convert the blend shapes that is an optional step and the other cc3 tools the blender tools to cc3 one you can use it to as you can see this this plugin you it's free it's on github you can use it to configure your character properly if you want to use it in blender so let's just quickly put mr mannequin here on one side and import our character so this will be your character exports cc3 Make sure that your character is the one that has the Unreal Engine settings baked on from CC3. So yeah, this is the character. And I don't think so that I need to explain to you guys how to export from CC3. It's very simple. You just have to click export and set these settings for Unreal Engine. But you have to have that FPX here and import it in Blender. As you can see, the armature is not very different, right? But there are some additional bones and there is... Uh, a lot here in the head that you may want to configure as you can see the skeleton looks absolutely same but there's a difference here in the feet as you can see we have toe and we are we have the fingers for the feet which we don't want and we have these rib twist bones that we again don't want so if you have ufi installed let's just quickly do it i'm putting the mannequin in extras and i'm putting the what is wrong with you? Yeah. And I'm putting this, this part here, armature in my collection. And this is the mesh, as you can see. This is the mesh, right? I'll just disable SK mannequin for now. See what I'm trying to hide it. Yeah. I'll just disable it for now. As you can see, I moved the armature in this collection and these are the static meshes. I mean the meshes behind this armature and they're all separate, right? And there are, they are still parented to this. So what you have to do is just have to press control J. You have to make them in one. You'll have to rename if you want. I'll name him, well, mesh underscore UE4, simple. And now I need to take this mesh Go to the vertex properties in this vertex menu as you can see the object data properties you still have shape keys you cannot extract your mesh if you have shape keys right so you just have to click on anyone and then click here and uh, delete all shape keys but before doing that remember you have a duplicate mesh so i'll name it underscore master because it will have all the shape keys and this one won't have any shape keys so i'll just use it and I'll delete all shape keys, simple as that. So this one is without the shape keys and this one is with the shape keys, as you can see. So now you have to extract the mesh. It's very simple. If you have UE UEFI plugin installed, you can just go down here and click on extract mesh. Don't, don't click on extract all, just select this mesh and click on extract mesh. As you can see, here we have the mesh. Yes, it's very big in size, but it's okay. You can just scale it down always, right? You can just, scale it so yeah you can just scale it no big deal just remember to scale it perfectly and if you have any problems just use the original one as a reference and yeah see now they are colliding so the scale is totally perfect i'll just delete the old one this is what i have i'll press ctrl a to do rotation and scale simple now this mesh is a free guy now right as you can see and this is the old mesh the old armature i'm sorry and it's of no use so if you want you can just delete it i'll rather delete it 
yeah i don't want it simple as that and with that i have also deleted it i'll just put it here yeah simple so you have your mesh that is free from any armature but you still want the unreal engine armature right so you just summon mani as you can see here and you will simply use this armature and put it here parent it to this one so simple as that i'll just duplicate this armature and i'll as you can see this is the root so i'll just copy it and name it root boy for example why because well i need it here and i'll again disable this so as you can see this is the armature named root boy and this is the unreal engine armature it is perfect in its own sense and it will work with any unreal engine 4 skeleton animation that you may have in your game so i can do shift s selection to cursor simple i don't know what i was doing there so now you have your mesh in the right place with the armature in the right place so you just have to parent them so you'll select the body then you'll select the mesh you'll select alt p first you have to clear parent and then keep transformation this will prevent your pose from you know distorting in every way so now you have a skeleton that is free from every mesh and you just have to select this you can clear the parent by pressing alt p and you can parent them by pressing ctrl p this is the armature deform you can do with automatic weights which is the best way to go but you can do simple armature deform as well i'll go with automatic weights it will take a moment and yeah so if i go to pose mode see it is moving right it is wait we have a problem houston we have a problem so as you can see this part is not working fine right so for the sake of this tutorial i'll work with just this part right now this is very simple to fix if you remember every bone has a vertex group built onto it right every every mesh will have a vertex group that is linked to the bone so we just have to assign them properly i'll go to the mesh i'll go to the edit mode and what i have to do i'll just need to find the perfect one and and also for that let me just enable the bone names you can go here in the viewport display and enable names so it's easier to know which bone you're working with and then just go to the mesh and if you guys remember let's just take the reference again select this and go to pose bone and see this bone isn't doing anything right but in an unreal engine mannequin this should move your front you know uh what do we call it i don't even remember the toes yeah it should move your toes but it ends up doing anything and here this bone should move all of your leg this one but it is not moving this so what's the best way to find it let's just quickly use our mesh again go to edit mode and let's try to find the perfect perfect vertex group for this i guess it is foot if i'm not wrong yeah see the foot bone is controlling this mesh the, this part of the mesh right and if i move it the ones that are not highlighted won't move with it but you want this part of the shoe to move with it right so simple as that i'll just go in top view press 7 i'll select this no not this i'll select this select all of this part carefully of course i'm in this holographic mode uh x-ray mode and as you can see this part is now selected if i assign this with a foot r vertex group and if i go back onto object mode select the armature go to pose mode and if i move this you shall see the leg is moving perfectly right and you also want this part of the shoe to move with it right so again we'll do the same thing we'll select the mesh and we'll go to edit mode and we'll press alt z as you can see this black part isn't selected so again by selecting this foot r vertex group I'll just shift click and add it to my selection and then assign it. Save it. And then if I go to the armature, if I go into the pose mode and I select this bone, my whole shoe, sorry, the whole feet will move together with this bone. And if I do the same thing here, as you can see, it's moving perfectly, right? Yeah. 
you can do the exact same for the left foot i'm not going to repeat the process you can do the exact same for your left and the right hand as you can see i did that for my game you can check out in the previous devlog how i did it i'm just explaining it i'm not showing the step by step process but i'm just explaining it i may put a clip of doing that same process here but That's all. That's all, guys. After that, you just need to use your old static mesh. Sorry, the old mesh. And then select your new mesh. Where is it? Select your new mesh by holding control. And in the same, uh, we are in the pose mode, right? And in the same vertex properties. Where is it? Yeah. Just select this one and then select this one. And then down here, there is a button that will transfer all of your shape keys here. I'm not going to do it right now because it takes a lot of time to transfer shape keys. It's it's very CPU intensive thing. But after that, you will have your shape keys here. This won't be empty. You'll have all the sh shape keys here that are related to your face. And that's it. After that, you can just export it or you can do the pipeline send to Unreal plugin if you have it. I made a YouTube short about it. You can just check it and set this pipeline to send it to Unreal in just one minute. And yeah, that's all, guys. That's it. This is your mesh. Now it is very much ready for UE4. And if you can again go and have a look in my last devlog, you will see how I embedded this and that it is working perfectly fine. Yes, there are some problems, you know, minor issues, but you can always tune it using IK or using, you know, other blueprint nodes. So yeah, that's it, guys. That's it for the tutorial. Subscribe for more, follow, like, and yeah, that's it. Cheers.